Hello, so in this video, I will show you how to set up HAVPN between Google Cloud and Azure. Now, in order to proceed with the setup, we would be deploying the virtual network or VPCs in Azure as well as Google Cloud. Then we would be deploying the virtual network gateway in Azure, which would, which is the VPN uh, Azure native VPN service. And similarly, in Google Cloud, we would be deploying Cloud VPN, which is Google Cloud VPN native service. Now to store the Google Cloud VPN details in Azure, we would be creating local network gateway, which is this. And in Google Cloud side, we would be creating Cloud Router, okay, which will help us to store the information of the Azure gateway, okay, as well as it will help us to do the uh, dynamic VGP routing. So these are the components which we are deploying as this lab. Uh, we, I have already deployed the virtual network and the VM inside this, okay, to save time. Let's deploy the remaining components now. Now, first thing what I'll do before we proceed in the Google Cloud side, we'll go to Cloud VPN. Okay, so we'll create the Cloud VPN. We'll say continue. We're creating an HA VPN. We'll name this as Cloud VPN Prod. I'll select the network as default because I already have a default network created with necessary subnets and a VM created in those subnets. And the region which I would be creating this setup would be central US one. And I'll say continue. Okay, now that's all you need to do over here right now. Once you click on create button, you come back to the, you open a new tab and go back to the cloud VPN page. And this should provide you the cloud VPN IP address. Take a note of this IP address. We will require this for, for the configuration on the Azure side. Okay, now once this is done, in the Azure portal, the virtual network is already created. Okay, with necessary subnets. I'll go to the I'll go to the virtual network gateway and I'll create a gateway over here. Okay, you can name the gateway as a VPN gateway prod. And I have my setup in India in Azure side. So I'll select central India over here. We are creating a VPN gateway. So we'll select VPN over here. We are creating route based VPN, which is the uh, new generation VPN policy based VPN are for legacy devices, the old firewall, physical firewall devices. Route based VPN are mostly supported by all the cloud providers as well as the uh, on-prem firewall devices as well. You can select the SKU and based on the SKU select over here the number of terminals and the uh, bandwidth per terminal gets decided and you'll select the virtual network. So I have already created a virtual network you will select that virtual network. Now you must be seeing this error. This error is because the, I've created the gateway uh, before starting this video. Reason is the gateway creation can take up to 20 minutes. Now gateway requires the public IP address and it requires two public IP address. One is the primary, since the gateway would be deployed in HA. This gateway, the primary gateway is in zone 1. And the secondary gateway would be deployed in zone 2. Okay. So these are the settings that you need to select over here. Then you need to say next, add tax. Or before that, you need to also con say configure BGP. ASN number you can leave default and BGP peer IP address you can put 169.254.21. Let's keep it 10 over here. And secondary would be 159, uh, 169.254.21.14. So you can give these two IP address. And these are predefined a PIPA IP address which Azure uh, Virtual Network Gateway supports. Okay, so I'll say next, next, and finally I'll click on the create button. And once you click on the create button, your gateway gets created like this. So we have the gateway created with the necessary BGP configuration as we seen in the uh, last uh, page. Okay, now once this is done, you need to click the local network gateways where you will store the uh, Google Cloud side information. Okay, so 
here you can say okay let me here you can say create gateway select the resource group select the region as India because our VPN gateway is in India and our network is in India let's call it as gateway 1 and you can put the IP address local network gateway I'll call it as GCP put the IP address and here you'll say the PGP range would be 169, 254, 21.11. Okay, next. Instead of putting it over here, let's remove from here. The enable ASN of the Google Cloud site would be, let's say, 65,005. And the BGP IP range would be this. We delete this. this creates our gateway one with the uh, Google Cloud first VPN gateway details let's create the second gateway with the second IP address details again we will select the source group we will select the region we'll put the name IP address next ASN number would be same this ASN number would be configured on the cloud router this would be 169, 24, 21.13 okay so this should deploy your local network gateway You'll see the local network gateway over here in some time. Let's wait for that to happen. Okay, so once your gateways are deployed, this is what it would look like. One small change in gateway one uh, I would like to do this should be nine actually. Okay, and the peer is ten, which is configured at the Google oh, sorry, which is configured at the Azure virtual network gateway side. And the Google side will configure it as nine. Okay. Once you have done the local network gateway configuration, you will go to virtual network gateway, and uh, you will select the connections tab, and you will say add connection. So let's say this is our connection one, and we are doing side to side VPN. This would be with GCP gateway one. Pre-shared key can be of your choice. I'll just share, set up pre-shared key and I'll enable the BGP configuration. Same steps. You need to follow for connection two. Gateway two. Set up pre-shared key. Okay, now once these configuration are made, you don't need to go to Google Cloud now and continue from this page. So in local network gateway, we save the Google Cloud Azure Google Cloud details in Azure. In the same way, in Google Cloud, we need to save the Azure details. So we'll create a peer gateway. Let's call it as peer gateway Azure. Broad. it has two interfaces it has this virtual network gateway has two public IP addresses which means it has two interfaces you need to put that details over here so you'll find the IP address under configuration tab put the IP IP addresses and click on create like you need to create a cloud router we'll call it as cloud router prod ASN is 65,005. This is what we have configured and all, all, all else we have set to Azure. So we'll use the same ASN. And now we will create the tunnel. So let's say this is tunnel 1. Pre shared key I have set on Azure side. I will use the same key. 
let's put the tunnel to details and it'll say create all right so once your tunnels are created you will go to bgp configuration and let's say this is our session one the azure asn s65515 okay so you'll put the number over here and the ip range so at cloud router we have set it as 169.254.21.9 and at the azure side it is 169.254.21.10 find it over here okay 10 we need to match the same thing we'll configure session 2 now asn of azure remains the same and this becomes 169 254 21 dot 13 and this becomes 14 okay so we'll click on save bgp configuration and now the uh, handshake will start handshake and the route exchange would start let's give it a minute okay now once your configuration is done You'll click on OK and your VPN is configured. So you will see two tunnels up and running. So it says established. If you can go and validate at the Azure site under connections, this also would say okay, it's saying unknown, but in some time it will show you connected. Because at the Google Cloud side it is showing connected. Now to validate if everything is working, you can go to your Google Cloud virtual machine or Azure virtual machine, your choice, and you can log into that virtual machine. And similarly, I in Azure side also I have a VM. This is a VM. Okay. You can try to SSH or ping the private IP address. From my Google Cloud VM, I'll do a ping to 10.0.0.4. This is the Azure VM private IP address. And we can see it is pingable. You can even try to connect to it. So I can say SSH. And we are connected. So this does the config entire configuration. Alright, so this is it for this video. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching.